Bro, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Bro, Chopper is just like such a freak. No, I'd be pissing and sh**ing my f***ing pants. How's it going, Fish Fam? Welcome back to a brand new video. If this is your first time checking out the channel, what's up? My name is Gabe. You can also find me at Spartanfish pretty much everywhere on the internet. Now, when we last left off, Luffy and our brother, Luffy beat the shit out of Bellamy after his crew finally found out the truth that we are in fact goaded with the sauce. Uh, we are worth a hundred million. Bellamy isn't even worth as much as Zoro in terms of a bounty. We left off on such a weird note. We learned a lot of fucking characters last episode. We learned we like saw a bunch of the senior leadership of the Navy, but we met like the five elders of the world government who, uh, and I know I talked about this a lot in my last video, but it's weird to see like us get all of this information and know that like the crew doesn't know any of it. There's like so much shit going on behind the scenes that our crew is just like blissfully unaware of. Blackbeard's crew is going after Luffy and the Straw Hats because the dude really just wants to make a name for himself. Um, woo, I'll make a name for myself. <laughs> uh, but it, it is weird just seeing like how everything is going on in the background. We met a bunch of the other warlords. Obviously we already knew Mihawk, but now we've met Doflamingo, um, who's, I, I've like seen his character art before, but obviously I don't like know anything about him. You know, always stuff going on behind the scenes that we're just like not aware of because we're, you know, hanging out with our main crew who are just a, a bunch of fucking goofballs. Um, we did get to see Shanks again, which is, you know, for me, always a treat. I miss Shanks for sure. Uh, so the world government is trying to prevent Shanks and Whitebeard from like contacting each other. They've already contacted each other. I don't know how this shit's gonna play out, but I'm interested to see for sure. So, yeah, I don't think I have a ton left to say, so let's just get into it. Three, two, one, play. No, not on the title card? Okay. He's on the way, Nami, he's on the way. No, it's because he probably got lost. No. <laughs> Chopper, that's not it at all, bro. He probably just got lost, bro. Honestly, that boggles my mind. I did not think Luffy would make it back because of direct. Bro was beetle hunting this whole time. Yo, they put fucking shit. Why the fuck did they make their boat look like a fucking chicken, bro? Why did you model it after a flightless bird? Exactly! Sorry about your house, bro. <laughs> you can have this beetle. I, I think, yeah, bro. This definitely uh, has... If he was doubting it before, which it didn't seem like he was, he's definitely not doubting it now. Damn. They really reinforced the fuck out of that boat, though. It looks good, other than, you know, the fucking chicken helmet. Bro, look at how small their boat is by comparison. I want to see how pissed off this bird is. Ah, Blackbeard, huh? Bro. Their boat is literally just fucking logs. <laughs> He's chained to the fucking boat. All right. So we're going in the right direction. <laughs> yeah, bro. We're either going to get there or we're not. Being upset about it's not going to make you get there any faster. All right. Bro, we're do are we doing it this episode? Are we gonna get to the fucking Sky Island this episode? Or at least get shot up this episode? Uh, they just start spinning in a circle. Yeah, bro, you just gotta hold on. I don't know why, but it's like, this arc in particular has just moved a lot faster than I expected it to. Yeah. Tracksuit plus hat is such a sick combo. All this is happening and I'm like, damn, Robin has such a good outfit. <laughs> 
Chopper's just such like a little ass kid. He's like tight. I like that Chopper is always just like mimicking whatever Usopp's emotion is. Chopper's always just like mimicking whoever is having the biggest emotion. Yeah, Luffy's excited, so Chopper's excited. Usopp freaks out, so Chopper freaks out. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, Nami, I'll hold you. It was the pre-explosion activity. And if it stops, that means the explosion is coming, right? No, no, we're, we're busy, bro. We got shit going on. <laughs> nope. <laughs> They're both so stoked. They're like, hell yeah. Ain't no way Blackbeard's catching him now. <laughs> yeah. R.I.P. Blackbeard. Rest in piss, loser. Bro, that's ridiculous. A current just goes all the way up into the fucking sky, bro. Yeah, you guys gotta put some weight in the front of the boat or something. <laughs> We're fucking flying, yeah? <laughs> yeah, bro. No, I'd be pissing and shitting my fucking pants. I would not be able to do anything else. I would be pissing and shitting my pants. We are, bro. <laughs> uh, I was not expecting them to bring back an old intro. That's kind of cool. Uh, I mean, I imagine. Since it's happening right now, I'm assuming that that happens like a few times throughout the series, right? Because like if you have such like a library of songs that you can kind of fall back to for moments like that, why would you not, you know? I was like, please, man, I don't want us to have to like delay this to fight Blackbeard right now. Like, I, I don't want that to be the case. I just want us to actually be able to like go um, the pacing of this arc has been really fucking exceptional. You know, we're A, then we're B, then we're C, then we're D. You know, we're, we're just like boom, 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 boom. Start to feel like you're stagnating a little bit, but I've really enjoyed this arc just because of the pacing in general. In fucking Skypea, or we're, we're going to the Sky Island right now. I'm not gonna... I, it, Rip Bozo, uh, suck a dick Blackbeard, you are, you got team rocketed, your ass is blasting off again, we are going to the Sky Island, uh, yeah, let's just go straight into the next episode because, honestly, I'm curious what this next arc is even gonna be. Three, two, one, play. Bro, if Luffy's struggling with it, I can't imagine how everyone else is doing. It looks like the wings just like flew straight off of our boat. No, it's a better question. Now that we got up there, how the fuck do we get back down? Some of you in the comments think you sound like that sniper dude, but you sound like fucking Zantetsu from Blue Lock. What? What the fuck? Brother, that is... Might be the dumbest thing Luffy said. Of course you can stay on them, they're clouds. <sighs> Do not... No, st stay on the boat, stay on the boat. Usopp just dies. Oh yeah? Oh! I thought it was just arms! Hey, yo, what, what, what other body parts can she make extras of? Yeah! It's because he pulled fucking Usopp and a, like, fucking giant octopus. I like how we still don't know about the, the fucking giants, right? Because Cricket was like, oh yeah, there's a story about where those giants came from. 
All right, bro, are you gonna let him go? Nope. That was so fast. That was so fast. He's already food. To eliminate you, huh? I don't think this is gonna go your way, Chief. Oh, he's pretty strong, I guess. Just took out our whole crew quick as fuck. Yeah, everybody gets one. He's Spider-Man. Yeah, you guys gotta start getting acclimated to the sky. <laughs> He's like, no, 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 no. You guys, you, don't say that. That's not true. Listen, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. They're, they've acclimated. They, they've already acclimated. <laughs> yeah, bro, there are way easier ways to do it. So if you go the other ways, like, people just die? No, no, not the horse horse fruit. Not a bird that ate the horse horse fruit. Yeah, that's... Why did he need to change into a horse? Just because he can? He's already a giant fucking bird, right? Isn't he... Did he just do that just because? Well, we, we go up there. We use that waterfall to go up more, right? That has to be the way. Surely that's the way. <laughs> Bro, Chopper is just like such a freak. Bro, I love that Chopper just like, it copies everyone's emotions. They're stoked, so he's just like, yo, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, I mean, it's an ocean, right? So it's like the same as any of the other ones. Oh, is it a gate like how the, uh... I, I, for I always forget what it's called, but like the... The mountain you ride to like get to the uh, Grand Line. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's the explanation. We're all dead. <laughs> yeah? What is extol? Huh? Excuse me? She's like, I'm not gonna stop you. Yo! The lobster just takes your fucking boat all the way up? Yeah, 3,000 meters or 3,000... I forget, I think it's 3,000 3, meters? Bro, what the fuck does that mean? And why does it look like Snake Way? Bro, no, no, no. Are we a... Oh, gosh. I think we are potentially in danger. Uh, <laughs> it seems like, once again, our crew is flying just straight into a fucking trap. Isn't necessarily interested in just, like, chasing our crew down. He's just kind of, like, of the mindset of, you know, well, they're pirates so they're gonna be in the grand line we'll see them again eventually it, it definitely reminded me a lot of like snake way when we're seeing it kind of like how vast and far it stretches out oh you can't pay that's fine we'll just let you go anyways um and you know we might kill you sorry about that like like you're not gonna tell them anything you can't just be like hey just so you know there are consequences to you not paying this fee. Um, we're probably gonna fucking harass the shit out of you, potentially kill you. That seems like something that might be worth mentioning. Like, just, just the pacing of this arc has felt really fucking good. Um, especially compared to Alabasta, where... I don't know, for me it just felt like some of the... Some of the islands and some of the fights felt like way too drawn out uh, for like Alabasta specifically, but it seemed obviously there's a lot less happening at least so far in this arc than there was in that one. You know, we were like preventing a full scale war and, you know, dealing with this shadowy rogue 
corporation that was trying to overtake this government. Um, let me know what you guys thought of, like, the first time you guys saw that sequence of them kind of, like, getting to Sky Island, getting, like, riding the current up, because the fact that they, like, brought back the first intro, and, you know, that's playing in the background as we're going through this, like, insanely magnificent experience. I'm just curious, like, what you guys thought of that whole situation the first time that you kind of experienced it, because for me, um, I don't know, it was just really fun. It was really fun to see. And, um, looking forward to the rest of this arc, I don't really know where we're going from here, so... Like, I'm, I'm kind of just along for the ride at this point. Uh, but yeah, with all that being said, don't forget to hit the subscription button down below. Make sure you tap the notification bell so you get notified the next time I post a reaction video. And I'll see you guys on the next one.